Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Miguel and in this video we will create our first calculator which could be used to calculate plus and minus. So let's open Lazarus and create a new project. But maybe Lazarus has already opened your last project. So go to project, close, let's create a new project. And you could create quite some different projects, so we will create a simple application. But you could also create a console application, or even just a simple program, or even stuff like a library. But let's create our application. And let's design our application. So select the form in the object inspector. And let's start with the caption, and we name it to something like calculator. After this I also want to drop some new components and basically we need two components of the type and t-edit component. So let's create two edits. I also want to display our operation, our mathematical operation, so it could be something like a plus character. We also need a kind of equal character. And if you want to move the edit um, the components precisely, you could press the control button and use the arrow keys. And resizing works quite, maybe not really the same, but you could use um, the shift key and again use the arrow keys. But actually I don't need it. It's fine like this and it will be in small application. So let's rename the second label to an equal character. And we could also make this um, to an um, bold font. And to do so just go to font, style and enable fs bold. Now it should be bold. I don't see any difference at all. But maybe I need some glasses. But okay. Um, we also need some buttons and let's create two buttons and rename the caption to a plus and a minus. So our mathematical op operations. So what else could we need? We could rename both edits. And to rename them both at the same time, just select one of them, press shift and select the other one. And now you could go to text and write something in it and both will change. But we just want to keep it empty. There's also one useful property called numbers only, and this will allow to just insert or write down numbers and not characters. And we also need a result label, so create a new label. We could also change the font to a bold font style. And let's write down result. We could also resize our application. And um, that's basically it. So, but we will develop our software and that means we also have to access our components and it's useful to rename them. To go, so go to the first edit and rename it to EDT, which is in prefix and stands for, um, or means edit. So EDT number one, and the other one EDT number two. Let's rename the label, one label, so LBL, OP, or operation. It's better call it operation. And let's rename label three to LBL result. What else do we need? We could rename our buttons to btn plus and btn minus 
that's basically it so we could save our application so go to project save project as and I will create a new folder called Lazarus minus four and I will call this project calculator or simple calculator and we could leave the name of the unit to unit one that's not important to us in this moment later on it will be quite important oh there's some news I'm sorry for my telephone so let's also start with programming so basically go to your button plus you could double click on events or just double click on the button and this will create the event on click so just to get an idea let's go let's rename lbl operation so let's change the caption to the plus character and this is in string so you have to use the simple quotation marks and let's do the same for the lbl for the button minus but let's rename the caption to a minus character and let's just check our application so if everything works fine we will see our operation label changing so that's good for now I also want to show you a kind of small trick so let's rename edt number 2 the text to the value of edt number 1 and this is simple done by doing something like this so edt number 2 the text will equal edt number 1 text and this will basically copy the value of the first edit component to the second one but in this application we don't want to copy something we want to calculate and so I will create variables so let's start with our declaration and basically we need the number one we need the number two and the number result which are integers you could also use a double to also allow calculations like division but in this example we will keep it simple so let's say number one equals edt number one text and let's just try to execute this application and this will result within problem so the message window says something like we got an t translate string on this side and we got in long end which is expected so basically we have an integer uh, I'm sorry basically we have a string but we need to have an integer and this is a real problem because we have to tell the computer that the computer should translate the string to an integer and this is called casting and to cast a data type so the data type string to an integer we will use in function called string to int and this function needs a string and will result a long int so an integer and we could also do this with number two so string to int because we want to convert a string to an integer and let's calculate our result and our result so number result will be number one plus number two and this is an integer so number result is an integer number one and number two is an integer so we don't have to cast so that's really simple but now we also want to display the result so we're calling the lbl result and we want to set the caption and this caption needs a string but our number result 
is an integer. So again, we have to convert in integer, or again, we have to convert in variable to a different type. And we will convert this integer to a string by calling string, uh, I'm sorry, int to string. So we have string to int to convert in string to an integer, and we are using int to string to convert an integer to a string. This may sound confusing, but we have to say that our computer should use in string or in text as an integer. And this is why we have to cast. So, but this is basically really simple. So let's try this and let's try whether our application is working correctly. So let's type in something like five and four and this will result nine. So our application is working fine. And now let's try this again and I will resize this form so that it's, that you kind of have to re remember what we did. So we will start with our declaration. So number one, number two, and number result. And I think it's even a better idea to just stop the video for a second and then try it by yourself. And after this, you can recontinue the video and I will show you the correct result. Hopefully you finished with your calculation and I will show you my correct procedure. So again, I want to start with number one equals, again, I have to cast, so string to int edt number one text. Number two is nearly the same, but we have to access the second component. Number result equals number one minus number two. And in the end, we also want to display our results. So LBL result caption equals int to string our number result. So pretty much like what we did before. So let's try this application. And again, let's type in five and four and this will return one. And we can only insert numbers. So that's basically it. So go to run and press build to create an executable, for instance, for sharing with friends. And this executable will be created in our directory. Currently it's quite huge because it contains debugger information and symbols um, which are used for tracing problems. But we will use the debugger in the next video, in the next videos. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I think in the next video we will create a timer. And this is basically an application used to measure seconds. I think most of you know this kind of application from your mobile phone or smartphone. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I would like to hear some feedback. Bye.